thing every TVTT player wants to do is get gear. And by get gear, getting as many items as you can that are completely maxed out. And that may seem hard being a new player and it being in this monstrosity all around you at all times. But there are ways to get geared. Now something that players mistake for working very well is escaping spawn and then just going from there. That does not work. I did it twice when I was new and it didn't work either time. And I went out hundreds of thousands of blocks both times I did it. But there is a way, however, that does work. And it's stealing from other geared players at spawn. Now you may be asking me, how does that work? It's very hard to do. And yes, it is very hard to do, considering once you steal it, they can just steal it right back from you because they can kill you instantly. But you can be successful if you do it enough. Because that's how I got all of my gear. Because as you've seen one of my, in some of my streams before, I'm really stacked on 2BTT. And every single piece of item that I got was stolen from another player or given to me. Or I found it myself. I never actually duped any items because I've never been able to figure out how to do them in the times that I've played on the server. Now to truly be set for life, you're going to need to do this for quite a while. I had to do it for over a month to get set to around the area where I am now. But it is effective. And along the way, you can be, you can master a lot of things, especially parkour, because you can practice coming down all the way from the nether ceiling through vines down to the nether floor. But you also have to be careful of void pockets, because they're everywhere, because bedrock deletion has been a thing on TVTT before. And it's really annoying when you fall into a random hole and lose all your stuff. Because there's two geared players up there. But the problem is getting to them. Now first, if you have hacks, you should use free cam to see what the situation is up there. And see if it's safe to go. I mean, it looks safe. But I don't know how I would get up there. And the best place to be is at the top of the nether ceiling because there's a lot of players that hang out up there. So now I'm up here. And also if new players have like only a pickaxe on them, you can also fight them to try and get their stuff too. See if I can make that void jump. I missed my one block. See, look at that, I just took all this stuff. Take everything in it, mine. Let's go, I just killed them. <laughs> Oh no, don't screw this up now. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, that's why I learned 1.9 VDP. It's about those critical hits.
See, I told you this method works. Cause I got a bunch of obsidian, and I also got a shulker full of armor and totems. There's a full set of armor. There's two full sets of armor in here, and there's a sword as well. Is there anything else I can take? And there's free XP as well. I was just starting to run out, and also totems. Literally everything I've started to run out of, I've just recovered. This is going into storage for sure. Yes! See, that's why you should trust me more. I'm really good at tutorials. And, and teaching you guys how to become GBTT Masters. And now that you're fully geared, you can kill new players yourself. And sometimes, like I just did, you can get some hilarious kills and get free gear out of it. But something you instantly want to do, put that crap in your ender chest. Because that stuff is super valuable. Now you also gotta be careful so nobody accidentally takes it. You know what? I have enough pickaxes already. Yeah, I have. I already have enough silk touch pickaxes. I I wouldn't mind losing a couple. But now that you've gotten geared, you can you can. Re die to restart or something or you can just carry on going and repeat the process and eventually you'll get to the level that I am on TBTD fully geared set for life and you can dominate the server and that, that's gonna wrap it up for my tutorial on how to get established on TBTT I hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe you learned a thing or two about how to survive on TBTT even without hacks and with the best gear possible. See you next time.